state that our ETA back at Storms River Mount will be approximately 1700 hours. We'll keep you posted. Seconds for the first start. Yeah, yeah, so it's been two years since I stood here. Um, it's been a real journey the last last 12 months. Um, so just yeah, just to be here again today. Yeah, I was in second place and then on the top of the cliffs on the flat part. Um, I really struggled on the climbs getting up there and then AJ and Ian caught me and I just didn't have the answers. Uh, yeah, but I'm really happy. I mean, coming fourth by those that pedigree of athletes is like so. Yeah, it's not a loss. I feel like one day this is going to be my race. I don't know if it'll be next year, but I'm going to keep coming back until until I get to the top of the podium. So. Yeah, it was more like ten days before the race. Um, I woke up one morning and my, my left ankle was just really swollen um, and I kind of couldn't really figure it out. I'd been tapering, so there was, there was no reason for it to be like it was. And subsequently was diagnosed with an arthritis and could literally barely walk down the stairs. I mean, it was just... I had to kind of, it took me a while to figure out what it was. Um, I, I missed the otter. Um, pretty upset because it was really the big goal race for my year. But yeah, no, I understand that in the sports, it's kind of what happens. You you miss races, and there's always there's always an action, so it's cool. Kind of the first the first few months were really hard. Um, you know, for someone who's used to finding all their stoke through movement, um, you know, movement was very limited. Um, you know, at the beginning, there was just nothing, no way to get endorphins. Um. It was just such a, uh, it was just terrible to watch. You know, for somebody who just loves the mountains, you could, and it was hectic to see your child come down the stairs in crutches. And after the first few weeks, when I could, when I was really just kind of hobbling around in the morning and then as it got better I could kind of move around a bit. Um, I went to go see someone who's, who's suffered from it for most of their lives and he said to me, he's like, you know, don't focus on what you can't do, um, focus on what you can do. So I could surf, which is my other which is the other place that I find most of my happiness. You know, my first goal was to kind of start swimming because that would be like a low impact, good way to do it. But I couldn't kick my feet, so what we did is I just took a bodyboard and I used to paddle around the Silvermine Dam. And you know, I really looked like a but it's just what I did for the first while and then you know, from, from then it was a gradual pr progression. Um, a couple of weeks after that, I could start swimming. So yeah, I just kept moving, doing whatever, whatever I could. And every little bit extra kind of gave me that little bit of stoke, you know, from the first time I could swim 
then to my first surf at Musenberg, first surf at Vic Bay, first hike up Musenberg Peak. And uh, he just was amazing about it, actually. He just took such a positive attitude. He's been through the run of medic- medicine, uh, normal medicines, homeopathic. He follows a very strict diet, and he's just like, gained strength. And- everybody's been asking uh, is some four possible on this course uh, on the right day and the right people you know yeah I think so well I'm expecting and I know it's going to be very tough uh, I did the beginning the few first kilometers of the race and yeah I must say I've never seen such a tough uh, trail so I have a lot of respect for tomorrow Start your clock. Checkpoint two is about two kilometers in. You're gonna be crisscrossing a riverbed quite a bit. It's quite technical, so just watch out because it's a good place to roll an ankle. Checkpoint two is at the base of the climb, two goes in, and then checkpoint three is right up at the top of the climb. You've got 800 meters straight up, and then about two, 300 meters of a nice back running on the top. Your prologue is over at the top of the climb. You have to make sure you're getting the first 25. Um, I like running fast, so. I think I, I'll run uh, quite quickly. Of course, I won't, won't run all out, but uh, I want to enjoy those three kil- kilometers and uh, get a kick out of it. And yeah, see it as a as a quick warm up for tomorrow. <laughs> biggest race everyone wants to run on the water trail so yeah it's a big privilege for me again to be able to come back here
whole fight about uh, sub four hours. I think it's going to be very tough. I've been uh, quite surprised how difficult the trail is, so by now I'd rather not do any predictions. just behind Mark and looking super chill and confident. Mark looks like he's having a blast, but uh, at this stage, Kane is looking really, really good Nick. And then in the ladies race, um, Emma Rocker has actually put quite a gap on Megs very early, but Megan's also looking relaxed and confident. So I think uh, the South Africans are looking good. Um, and we know from this race, it's really hard to run out the front. I think Kane is looking very relaxed um, and, and, and you know he's a different runner to what he has been in the past. You know, Mark, is, Mark is the real deal and the two of them are running together. The Otter, you know, everybody looks good when they get past in Gubu. Kane has been bitten by it before. Um, Mark doesn't know what's coming. As Kane said very rightly, I mean, if you're going to go for the four hour mark, you probably get eight hours. Uh, if you go for 420, 415, then you race to win it. If you just think about it, it's Ian's best time is 420, so you'd have to run 30 seconds a K faster every K than Ian. And uh, anyone who's seen Ian run knows what's, what that kind of achievement that would be. So it's going to happen, but uh, it's going to take something magic. get faster so if the guys are, are, are feeling good they can go faster towards the end. Kane's a freak of nature he's the best climber I've ever met he's an incredibly talented runner I think he just has to get his mind um, through the distance and he's got a really strong mind so I believe in him 100% I think he's gonna crack it. Look uh, the biggest gap that we've ever seen closed uh, from Oakhurst has been 10 minutes on the leader and Kane is two minutes back and looking strong so anything can happen out there. Uh, he says he's feeling good, uh, Mark's also feeling good but it's a hot day and so e either one of them, you know, um, at this stage it's a, it's a race between the two of them and, they, and they're really going for it.
no weakness. So I knew, okay, well, give it a shot, go, go through hell, and then uh, let's see what uh, comes out. And those were probably the toughest 40 minutes in my life. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. It was seriously, seriously emotional last few kilometers for me because, you know, the first time I went into the rheumatologist when he kind of heard that I was a trail runner, he almost just like laughed a bit and he was like, well, we don't really know what the future's going to hold. Um, and now just to be able to do that, because I just know that's always what I've kind of meant to be able to do. That's just what I, it's when I feel best. It's just... Just kind of, it's just so natural, so to be able to do that again is just the most amazing thing. Just, you know, the result never mattered that much, but just to be able to get the podium in this race, it means so much to me, it's just, yeah, you know, it's an incredible moment. So I did feel uncomfortable, but you gambled and you lost. So.